it visible that I, and make people identify with the lover's point of view. That uh, my aim in this novel was not to put love on a pedestal and say, what a sweet thing it is, what a great thing it is. Uh, on the other hand, uh, I look at it as a almost a bad thing or a not bad thing, that I, or, uh, something that happens to us, to all of us, then let's try to analyze it, see through it and see how human mind and heart, if you make a distinction between them, uh, reacts to life. My, uh, I can also uh, simplify my point of view, is that lots of things are operating in our minds, in our spirit, spirit, in our blood, so to speak, when we are in love. And one thing that is important is that one part of our mind is seeing things clearly, no, uh, knows that we are in love, that what we are doing, in fact, will not serve our love, but it will be, in fact, um, um, not good for yeah, yeah, uh, um, getting or impressing the beloved, but we do those things. And when we are in love, um, this is the essential point about my novel, too, that we do things, one part of our minds observes with a bit sadness and melancholy, thinking that this will not make us happy. Um, this is one thing. The second thing that I, that I focus on an hour to see analytically all the things that lovers do, that, that is waiting for the phone to ring, resentment and anger, jealousy, uh, finding yourself stupid, uh, stupid or over anxiety, um, angers, uh, expectations, and a lot of illusions, delusions, uh, how we um, cheat or how we misguide ourselves when we are in love. My character, Kemal, in Museum of Innocence, thinks that actually he is going to win over his beloved in two weeks, at most in two months, while he spends eight years um, um, uh, uh, running after her. Uh, the book, uh, at one point in the book, when my character is infatuated by love, and feels what we popularly call love pain, he realizes that objects, things uh, th that are associated with his beloved, uh, uh, objects that they share together in their happy times, have the power of consoling him, uh, perhaps because they bring back the memories, the joyful memories they share together. This we all know, more or less, from Proust's Madeleine, or I'll give you an example of a movie ticket. Let's imagine that we have found a movie ticket in an old jacket pocket. We, uh, we have already forgotten that we've been to that movie. We don't even remember we've been seen that. But as soon as we have the ticket, we begin thinking that, well, not only that we've seen the movie, but we remember scenes from the movie. Uh, because we have an object associated with that sensations and memories. Uh, all objects have that power, and when my character is badly in love and is, um, is not happy with his unrequited love, he uh, begins to collect or gather around the objects that he had shared with his beloved. Later, when uh, after some time, he makes a museum of these objects, uh, and my novel is in a way annotated um, museum catalog. Uh, if you put the objects together and, and tell the story of each object, we have a novel. That was more or less the idea, how I composed this book. Then I'm also doing that. I'm also doing the museum. Maybe I should talk about later and uh, more. When I, um, uh, my museum is also about uh, uh, objects that these uh, lovers share. That, uh, 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 but also, it's a city museum because they share the culture of Istanbul between 1975 until the end of century, uh, 20th century. It has also qualities of a city museum. <laughs>